And let's bring in Keith Fitzgerald. Uh, he's on the phone. Get us a perspective. All right, Keith, so uh, here's the scenario. We opened down 100 points. Rally back Dow up 60. And, and right around that time, we got some reports that uh, Larry Cutlow saying maybe President Trump won't meet with President Xi of China. And it's been wobbly since then, selling, of course. Now we get the same thing, of course, that, that snowball to boulder uh, that, we, that we saw yesterday. It starts slowly, but when it picks up steam, man, move out the way. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, this is all about psychology right now. This has nothing to do with fundamentals, nothing to do with economic mm -hmm. underpinnings, and believe it or not, nothing to do with the Fed. Perception is everything, and that's what skittish traders are dealing with today. So I'm expecting a little bit more selling. I think this is normal. I do expect it to snowball by the end of the day if panic comes in from the edges. For individual investors, take a deep breath. Let the institutional guys duke it out. You've actually got the advantage here. Well, is one of the advantages at some point being able to buy this dip? Ooh. Bingo. That's exactly right. So here's the thing that most individual investors don't realize, is the institutions have to keep their money moving. That's how their bonus structures are wild. That's how their portfolios work. They have to do that. As an individual investor, we can take our choices. We can pick the specific companies we want, and we can make our move at a time that benefits us as individual investors. That's an advantage Wall Street doesn't have. And it's important on days like today, and when yesterday, we've had 1,100 points to the downside that chaos always produces opportunities. It's tough. you got to take a deep breath. Maybe, mm. maybe get a libation, sit in your favorite easy chair, go for a walk. I don't know. But uh, chaos uh, always produces opportunity. Uh, do you have some numbers? <laughs> like Are it. you looking now and say, hey, a particular buy point? But, you know, again, we talked yesterday a lot about the 50 and 200 day moving average because they are important and a lot of money does trade based on those. Uh, you know, we violated the 50 day moving average for all the major indices. We broke through it on the NASDAQ. Uh, is there a certain point where you really say, okay, I want to start to nibble at least? You know, we're doing that now selectively. I'm looking at companies, you know, the big tech leadership, for example, that will resume one day. I think it's a little early to wade in at the moment. But, you know, here's what I'm looking at. I actually have something I call the headline count. It's not an indicator followed anywhere else. I've never seen anybody else do it. What I'm looking for is stuff that's on page 12 of the New York Times or the London Times or whatever to come back onto one it's page. Called, it's called good we, news. It's called good Trump yes. news. <laughs> that's exactly. what you're finding when, in the New York Times, page 12. The first page of good news, that's when you make your buy, because it means everybody's been bled out, the weak money's been shaken out. In the meantime, you know what? You just go go give your spouse, your partner a hug, take a nice walk with your dog, do what I do, go for a motorcycle ride. Let the big boys play this out, because you don't want to be in the way of a steamroller. You know, I got to tell you, Keith Fitzgerald, the headline count, uh, I think 100 years from now, they'll be talking about the Dow Theory and Keith Fitzgerald's headline count. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Good stuff, my friend. We really appreciate it.